Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is what we Polish people call gołąbkis, but people normally call it pigs in a blanket. So let's get started. So I have two heads of cabbage that I'm boiling to soften up the cabbage leaves. So I'm just slicing it by the core to break the leaves apart. Once I slice the leaves away from the core, then I'll pick them up with the fork and place them in my bowl. So I'll just keep slicing around the core to release the leaves from the core. I'll do this to both heads of cabbage and then I'll let the cabbage leaves cool before I seal them. So now I'll place my cabbage off to the side and start my filling. I have my oven on 350. I'm putting on some gloves. I have five pounds of ground beef and one cup of rice. Everything is all uncooked. So I'll mix it all together. Now that's perfect. In my pan, I'll place some tomato soup. I'm using three 26 ounce cans. So I'll just place a little on the bottom. Spread it around. Now I'll take the top leaves of the cabbage, just place them on the bottom. There. So now I'll place this off to the side. Now I let my cabbage leaves cool. I'll take some of the hamburg, place it right in the center, spread it out, roll the front of the cabbage leaf away from me, take the sides, tuck it in, and that's what it should look like. So now I'll place this on top of my cabbage leaves that I have on the bottom of my pan. And I'll continue on with the rest. So just take some Hamburg. Tuck it in. Roll it. You don't want to overstuff them. So roll the cabbage leaves, tuck in the sides and roll it again.
When I make this recipe, I always make a lot because we like to have leftovers. And that's what it looks like. So roll it away from me, tuck in the sides, continue rolling. You can make this with ground turkey too. So there's the first layer. So now I'll put some tomato soup on top. So now I opened up my second can. I'll continue on with the rest and make a second layer. Now on to the last one. Tuck in the sides, roll it away from me, place it on top. So now this is what the second layer looks like. So I'll use the rest of the second can of soup. I opened up the third can. Pour it on top. Now I'll take some more of the leaves and cover the top of my cabbage rolls. Nice big one. off my gloves, put my lid on, and I'll place this in my 350 degree oven for about five hours or until the hamburg and rice is fully cooked. So into the oven it goes and I'll check on my pigs in a blanket. After the fourth hour I turned my oven down to 300. I'll take them out of the oven. What I do is I just discard all the leaves that I placed on top Take the liquid, pour it on top. Look at how good that looks. Once you remove the leaves, I'll place it back in the oven. It's time to take my pigs in a blanket out of the oven. Oh yeah, doesn't that look good? So now I'll place one on my plate. Take a little bit of the gravy. Pour it on top. And I'll put another one. A little bit more gravy. Oh yeah, now doesn't that look good? I'll cut it open. 
that's perfect. Look at how good that looks. I'll take a little bite. Perfect bite. Mm. Boy, is that nice and tender. Super duper good. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. And watch me make my pigs in a blanket, or what the Polish people call it, gwumkies. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.